This is the helpful lock picker here. And the video I have for you today is the Frosty 901 challenge lock. This is the first challenge lock that he's ever made, and I was happy to work on it. It was a Yale style lock with some pretty decent bidding on it. This lock has given me a good amount of trouble, and I've never been able to open it in any time frame that would be appropriate for making a video. It usually takes me about 10 or 15 minutes. So I just opened this off camera, and I just want to gut it and go over the lock and be able to send it back to him because he would like to send it off to someone else. But this lock works pretty well. We have it open right now and I'm gonna lock it back up and the key works very smoothly. So Yale style locks are not my um, preferred key way to work on. They can be inherently difficult on their own. This lock does feel very serrated. It feels like there's a lot of serrated driver pins and it feels like a lot of the chambers are serrated. So this lock was pretty tough. I ended up using my half diamond with the reduced shank height so I'd be able to pick on the right side of the lock here because there'd be a little bit more room. But I kept oversetting key pin one that I had to be careful with. But let's see what's on the inside here. It's going to open the lock back up. I'm going to insert my shim and we'll see what's inside. Thank you again Frosty for sending this out. I'm sorry I wasn't able to um, get it open too quickly. I had a lot going on and haven't had a lot of time to work on it. But let's see what we have for the key pens. Got key pen one two, then three, four, five. Um, they all look like they have a little spool kind of serration thing at the top so that they can get overset pretty easily. Then looking over at the plug here, I can see that it is threaded in every chamber. It looks like they have some counter milling on three and five. Now, moving upstairs to the Bible. And one, we have a spool and a copper spring. And two, we have a serrated driver pin and a copper spring. Three, we have a another spool, nice thin one, and a copper spring. Five, we have a nice serrated pin. And it looks like a steel spring. I'm sorry, that was four. And in five. Looks serrated, pretty stuck. Serrated pen with a copper spring as well. When we do take a look inside here, we can see that um, every chamber is in fact threaded. I don't know if that will reflect in the video or not, but every chamber is threaded. So this was a very crunchy lock. I would have preferred to have picked from the left side a little bit here to offer myself a little bit more room. I alternated between top of the keyway and bottom of the keyway, but I would have needed to use a thinner pick and there just wouldn't have been enough space. So I did pick from the right side where I could use a thicker pick because these pens were very immovable and you really had to lift hard to get them open. Just the trouble was key pen one was so long you could overset it and that made it quite difficult. But either way, Frosty, excellent job on making this lock. It did a good job at keeping me out. It was a lot of fun to work on and I apologize for holding on to it so long. Here's a good close up of the pinning and I'll get a photo of these up in a moment here.
Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking it out, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.